what's going on, y'all? Cut it from Cut it TV. You've probably seen me all over Cut it TV. Uh, yeah, I am all over it. Uh, I'm Entertainment Mogul Cuddy from Cuddy TV. I run an award nominated company and I run the number one blog in New Jersey. And this web series is How to Become the Perfect Artist. I give you my tips and tricks on how to become the perfect artist. I've been in the music industry for five years, so I feel like I'm taking my experiences and giving it to the people to help you become the perfect artist. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, this web series is for any indie artist looking to become the perfect artist and just don't know where to start. I hope that this helps you. I hope this elevates you. And I hope you stay tuned for every episode. What's going on, y'all? Cutting from Cutting TV. Welcome back to episode two. I'm so happy to have y'all here, man. Look, we've built this web series for you to become the perfect artist. So I hope you listen to episode one and you went and found a good engineer. Yeah, We're I'm literally good. doing a checklist. So let's start the checklist right now. The first step, find a good engineer. Now that we're here, we're ready for episode two. I was gonna say reason two or role two, but this is episode two. So stay on tech and you're going to become the perfect artist. Now episode two focuses fully on beat selection. This is the, to me, one of the most slept on things that an indie artist does sleep on. A lot of them know good beats, but they don't know how to make the beat. Is. And that's the main problem when it comes to being an artist. Um, you know, dealing with being sued, dealing with copywriting issues, just a whole bunch of nine yards. So, episode two is to help you guys early. If you've never recorded a song, if you learn this early, you'll be way better than everybody else who records songs, basically. So, episode two, beat selection. You want to work with original beats. So since we already found our engineer, hopefully we found our engineer slash producer so we can knock these two episodes out into one and be one step closer to becoming the perfect artist. Now, working with original beats just means that you're finding a producer who makes beats and you're using his beats instead of going on YouTube and downloading beats that someone did not give you the permission to use. That's the only difference when somebody says, is this an original beat? That just means that you either spoke with the producer beforehand and y'all came to an agreement, you either paid for the beat and you have the exclusive or the lease, or you watched the producer make the beat in front of you and then he gave it to you. So that's an original beat right there. Um, a bad example of using beats is going on YouTube. Now, if you're using SoundCloud or you're using a free platform, this episode doesn't really specifically go to you because you're not making money off of your music, but this is just for people who are interested in becoming an indie artist. And with becoming an indie artist means making money off of your music. So the best way to do that is to have original beats. And YouTube beats, I know they sound real great. You have to understand that with YouTube beats, you cannot put those beats on YouTube or Spotify or anywhere else because you run the risk of being sued because that beat does not belong to you. I know you see everybody do it. Everybody says, well, I'll just pay the producer back. I'll just let... Again, this web series is to show you things to do it the right way the first time so you can save all of this nonsense. You can save being sued. Again, you can save four to five years of your music career just by following this web series and doing everything that I'm telling you. So, before we get into the tips and tricks, this episode is about what? Beat selection. Using more original beats, working more with producers around you so that you own your music. The more that you own your music, the more money that's gonna to come to you. Now let's get started. All right, so now since we're talking about beat selection on this episode, again, I'm going to give you guys some homework. How do you find the perfect beat? Well, how do you find your flow? You go after what your flow is, and then maybe you could listen to some music or some people that represent your flow and listen to their type of beats. And then you're able to identify certain type of beats. You might like trap beats. You might really like to rap. If you're a hardcore rapper, then you're gonna want something with a lot of drums and a lot of bass so that people can feel those punchlines more. The emotion comes out of the song more. Um, if you do R&B, then you're looking for something more saucetto. You're looking for more pianos. Um, you're looking for something to put somebody in the mood of they want to fall in love or they may be going through a breakup, whatever the situation may be, you know how R&B goes. 
Um, you want that to come out of your music and it starts with your beats. Um, if you're doing EDM, you want to find more of an electric beat. You know what I mean? You're not going for more bass and drum. I mean, you're definitely going for bass, but you're looking for more electricity. You're looking for more electrified. You're doing EDM. You know, it's a different feel. Beat selection is the number one thing that makes a song take off. If you have the right beat and the right lyrics and the right engineer to help you produce it all and put it all together, you are on your way to making an award-winning song every single time. If you follow this formula, you will never fail. So now that we know a couple of the templates, how do we find these type of producers? Um, again, I would go after local people that you know that make the type of music that you like. Again, you can start networking with these people and being like, hey, who's your producer? Who makes your beats? I really like your beats. Around the world and around your community, there's probably a hundred beat makers in your community right now. And I bet you 20 of them all do a different genre. So that's five genres of beat makers that you have accessible to you inside of your community right now. I know it, trust me. So reach out to them. You never know which one's gonna be able to give you a good beat, a hard beat, or maybe the beat that you're looking for right now. Um, the best way to eliminate using YouTube is networking with more producers. The more producers that you network with, the less you have to go on YouTube to try to find a beat. Now what I say is, inside of my little academy, when I'm, again, helping artists and I'm helping them get to wherever they wanna go to, I say, Use YouTube as a reference. Find you a good producer. Send the YouTube beat to the producer so they can make you a duplicate of it. As long as it's an original and it's yours, it's okay. It's, it's all right to like a YouTube beat that somebody else made. Just don't go on YouTube and completely steal their beat. Um, it just doesn't make any sense, honestly. It's not gonna work out for you and people aren't really gonna take you serious. So take your career serious. Work with producers. There's a bunch of producers that are just like you. They're honestly probably waiting for a producer web series so they can figure out how to become the perfect producer. You have the tools in front of you right now. You have the advantage in front of you. You have this web series that's teaching you everything you need to know on how to become the perfect artist. So, we did step one. We found our perfect engineer. The one that's good for our sound, gives us great quality, and is going to make our music sound top tier. Next in line, we need to find a superstar producer. It don't have to be a superstar producer. It needs to be a producer that can make us sound like a superstar. And then we'll build a superstar relationship together. I mean, look at Drake and 40. We don't know where 40 was before Drake but we know with them together who they are. And you can create that bond with one of the producers around your area. So don't be scared to reach out to anybody. Don't be scared to contact somebody. Most people will send you beats for nothing. So you telling me you could work with somebody around your way, they will send you beats for free probably because this is later in the episodes, but if you put them on the split sheet, then they make money and you make money also. Talk about that later. Right now, we're worrying about getting you original beats. My best advice, work with producers around you. Again, you can go into Facebook groups, Instagram. You can use certain little hashtags to follow and you can find producers that are just producing beats and are looking to get rid of them. And network with them. Get you some original beats. If you're not looking to network with producers, then make sure you are buying your beats. If you're going on YouTube, and you find a beat that you just absolutely love and you don't want to remake it, then make sure you are either leasing it or buying an exclusive buyout so you can make money on it. Do not, again, I'm gonna save you four to five years of legal trouble. This is legal trouble. People go through this all the time. This person stole my beat. This person stole this from me. This person stole my lyrics. It's best to just not do it and to make everything original. That's how you become the perfect artist. Nobody can say anything to you if everything that you create is clearly coming off of you. So, episode number two. What are we focusing on? 
finding a producer to give us original beats or working on just buying beats. That's it. Own your beats. The more that you own, the more you will get paid. Remember that. The more that you own, the more you will get paid. So go out, network with your local producers, get some beats, go over them, and understand that having an original beat is way more beneficial than going on YouTube and grabbing that fire beat if you don't plan on buying it. That's just my advice for you. This has been episode two. Stay tuned for episode three. We are building you up right now on becoming the perfect artist, so don't stop watching. All of these tips and tricks are gonna get you to where you need to be at, and in no time, you're gonna be the next Drake. So make sure you stay tuned, man. Episode three is on the way. Make sure you tell a friend, share this to 10 people. Send this to your favorite indie friend that may need some help and may wanna build their career.